morning, everybody. You know, it's so beautiful out today. I think I'm gonna give Mrs. Rill a call and see if she wants to go to the pool. I've got my beach blanket and I've got my sun block, my sunscreen, and I've got my sunglasses, so I'm ready to go. Maybe she can meet me at the pool and we can float down the lazy river. Oh, that would be perfect. Don't you love to go to the swimming pool or even play in the bathtub or in the, a little wading pool at your own house? Have you ever tried to separate water? Does it ever stay apart? Nah, it always comes back. That's the way God made water. But in our Bible story today, we have a miracle that God does with water. So listen for what's gonna be happening today. It's an exciting one. Before we have our lesson, we're gonna review our memory verse. Our memory verse is three words. God is love, 1 John 4, 8. Remember our song? God is love, God is love. 1 John 4, 8 says God is love. Let's do it again. God is love, God is love. 1 John 4, 8 says, God is love. Well, in our lesson today, we have a man named Moses. Remember these names, Moses. And Moses is the leader of the people of Israel. And we remember from in the past, we've learned that the Israelites were people who lived were in Egypt and they were slaves there. They were working for the king who was called Pharaoh. And they were working very hard and they did were treated very, very badly. And they really wanted to leave Egypt. And finally, that's a whole nother story, but finally God let those people leave Egypt. And Pharaoh, the king said, go leave, get out of here. And boy, they did. Moses led those people out of Israel, or out of Egypt, all the way, and they were heading to the promised land. Well, you know, Pharaoh, in a very short period of time, thought, what did I just do? What was I thinking? All of the slaves are gone. All the workers are gone. That was a terrible idea. We've got to get those people back. So he got 600 of his army members who rode on horses and on chariots, and they took off after those Israelites. They were going fast chasing those Israelites. Well, the Israelites finally got to a place that was called the Red Sea. It was a big sea, dark, deep, wide, and they did not have a boat. They did not have a sail. They did not have an airplane. They didn't have a bridge. How in the world were they gonna get across that? And just about the time when they're standing there thinking this, just the Israelites were, not Moses, they heard something and they thought, what is that sound? And they realized it was the Egyptian army chasing them. Oh my goodness, they're thinking, oh, they're gonna make us go back to Egypt and be slaves. And they had the water in front of them. They had the army behind them. And they're thinking, oh, we are in big trouble. And they went to Moses. They said, Moses, Moses, what are we going to do? Moses said, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Our God is with us. He is the God of miracles. He will save us. And God did. He told Moses, 
you take that rod and you hold it over the water and watch what happens. And Moses did. He put his rod over the water and that water parted. It separated into two big walls of water. A wall of water on one side and a wall of water on the other side and the ground was dry as it could be. And the Israelites went right into the, between those walls of water and they walked on dry ground. And what do you think the Egyptians did? They followed those Israelites right onto the ground with the water on either side. But God caused confusion. He caused those, those soldiers and those horses to get all mixed up. He caused the wheels of those chariots to fall off. He caused those horses' hooves to get stuck in the dirt. And the soldiers were scared. And they said, we've got to get out of here. The God of Israel is doing this. And they were right. And right about the time that the Israelites and Moses arrived on the other side, God told Moses, take that staff, hold it over the water again. And that's just what Moses did because Moses obeyed God. And just like that, God caused the waters to close up over those Egyptians and that army and all those Egyptians drown. They were never seen alive again. But the people of Israel were saved. Moses was saved. And they were so excited that they prayed and they thanked God and they sang praise songs to God for saving them. Oh, our God is a God of miracles. He is the one and only true God. And that's who you and I worship today. The same God that led Moses is the same God that we pray to and that hears our prayers. Did you have your thinking cap on? Do you have on your listening ears? Let's see if you can hear, if you remember our story and I'll ask you the questions. The Israelites had a leader. What was his name? Moses, that's right. Who was chasing the Israelites? The Egyptian army and Pharaoh. That is correct. Who helped the Israelites? God. God helped the Israelites. And who does miracles? He did their, that miracle with the Red Sea. And he performs miracles even today. It is God. Oh, that's who we worship. We worship God. I have a, story, a uh, song to sing that's pretty much our whole Bible story. It goes like this. How did Moses cross the Red Sea? How did Moses cross the Red Sea? How did Moses cross the Red Sea? How did he get across? Did he swim? No, no. Did he sail? No, no. Did he fly? No, 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 no. Did he walk? No, no. Did he run? No, no. How did he get across? God blew with his wind. Puff, 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 puff. He blew just enough, 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 enough. And through the sea, he made a path, that's how he got across. That is the most wonderful, exciting Bible story. 
I am so glad that you listened today. Well, I'm going to give Mrs. Rill a call and see if she's ready to go to the pool. And I hope if you go to the pool or you play in the water at home, that you'll try to separate the water. And you'll know that only God could do that miracle. Well, I love you and can't wait to see you soon at church. Until then, bye-bye.